Hey everyone, how you doing today? This is Gilbert with Interactive Utopia and today we're going to be doing a small project. We're going to be working with the OpenAI Whisper Speech-to-Text API and I want to tell you how you can work with it using uh, just simple HTML, some JavaScript and PHP to send and receive the data. Okay. Um, the first thing I want to show you, of course, uh, if you need any information from me, you can find me at interactiveutopia.com. Uh, you can give me a call, send me a message if you need any help with your project. Uh, but, uh, you know, getting started, let me give you a quick example. So this is basically the application that I made. It's pretty simple. It's just um, basically we're going to record something. It's, we're going to send it to uh, OpenAI. They're going to do its thing uh, and send us back the text uh, in, you know, the response of whatever the user said. You can use this for very different applications, you know, uh, but uh, we al I also have a video on the Google speech to text API. Uh, they're similar but different uh but so you know whichever one works best for you um, i'm working on an open ai project where we're using chat G gpt so i'm trying this um speech to text api uh to see which one works better uh, and you know it, we're on the same network already so might as well uh so i'm just going to give you a quick example i'm just going to click start recording and i'm just going to say something real quick testing application all right, so as you can see, it gave us the text, and then we can also play back the audio for whatever we sent in to them. Um, and of course, you know, we got the little button to stop re recording once we're done recording. Uh, so pretty simple, but you know, it's a very, very smart and could have a lot of different applications. Um, before I dive into the code, I just want to let you know uh, OpenAI has a lot of documentation. Well, not a lot, but there's some documentation on there, which helped me quite a bit when doing this project. Uh, there's a uh, frequently asked question page. Basically, you know, tells you about pricing. You know, when it was sent, the languages it supports, uh, the format. This is very important. The format, because uh, you gotta send something that they're gonna be able to listen to or, or process. Uh, so, um, so yeah, just make sure, you know, if you got any questions, read this uh, document. I'll put the link down below. Uh, they also have documentation on their, on their page. Basically, you know, here's the speech to text page. And what's important from here is the curled um, con connection that we got to send. Basically, we got to send the file with some, the, we got to send the request with some headers and then the audio file in the header as well. And then of course we gotta give it like the model type and things like that. And then it'll return something, some JSON like this with the text um, variable on it or you know, the text, the content is it's under text. So, uh, and you know, you can kind of read a little bit more information about it. Uh, pricing wise, it's not free. You gotta have an account. You gotta put a credit card. You gotta pay, but it's. It, I think it's really cheap. It's not even six. It's six tenths of a penny, uh, what it costs per minute, and then it's rounded to the nearest second. So if you do like ten seconds, it's not even gonna be that. Uh, so it, it's super cheap, uh, but then again, oh, you know, for my scenario, but but then again, uh, you know, make sure that you use the correct one. I know Google does have a little bit of free, uh, maybe I think it's like the first hundred minutes or hundred dollars or something like that. It's for free. So uh, if you need something where you don't want to pay, maybe give that a try. Uh, and of course, the code that we're going to be using, I just uploaded it to uh, GitHub. So if you go to GitHub, you can go to github.com forward slash Gilberto Cortez. And then it's going to be in there under Whisper API via PHP. Just three quick files. That's all that we need to work. Okay, so uh, let's dive into the code. Let's go to Visual Studio Code real quick. And uh, basically, the way that it works is we got to have an HTML page. That's where the user is going to go, it's going to click, it's going to say whatever it needs to say, stop recording, and you know, that's like the display section of it, which is this. It's pretty simple. Uh, 
this is all standard HTML, some CSS to make it pretty for you guys. And then, you know, the, the actual code itself, uh, it's going to be down here. Um, we don't need this API. Let's take that out. Uh, that was basically an API that I was trying to try to convert it to MP3 file, but you know, we don't need to do that. Uh, so from there, we're using input.javascript, which is basically this file right here. Uh, and that's what is gonna actually do the intelligence on the front end, if you can call it. I already have another video on this, but I'll kind of give it a quick explanation. Uh, the way that it's gonna work, it's in the beginning, it's just setting up, you know, the buttons, it's setting up the styles of everything, you know, what's what's disabled, what's not disabled, you know, more on the buttons. Uh, but then, you know, this is basically the sections that we want to, um, from here all the way to the end, the sections that we wanna work with. Uh, basically it's saying once the data is available, uh, push the data into the chunks array which is basically going to be storing the data and then once it stops recording the data we're going to be creating a new blob which is i think binary a binary uh, object if i'm not uh, mistaken and then from there we're going to be creating like the audio file so that we can provide to the user uh you know basically pu putting on that audio for the source of it and then we need to basically arrange the file uh, or create uh, the file so that we can send it over to the PHP side of the server. Uh, we're letting it know, you know, we're creating a new file based on that binary content. Uh, it's going to call, be called user audio dot webm m dot webm, and then the type is of course audio dot webm. That way the headers, you know, are properly set. And then with that we are just going to be sending the information via the fetch um, function from javascript we're sending it an, as a post request um, and then once we send that over send that data over we are going to be basically getting that response and then we're going to be setting it under the um, we're going to be sending it under the display area that I already had set up um, set up in there for them already. Okay, uh, which is basically this div right here, you know, just or a p tag. Um, and uh, yeah, and this basically is the stop button. It just basically that's what makes it stop. Uh, so over here, when you click on the start button, you know, it starts and the media, media recorder and then over here it just tops the media recorder and then that's when um, this section pops up you know on stop all right and then from there of course we're going to be sending we do the html we record it via the, the the audio recorder we use javascript to process it and then send it back to php and then on php that's basically where we interact with with uh, the whispers API. Uh, what I'm doing right here, pretty simple. In the beginning, I'm just starting the session on the server. You know that way I can store the information on there. Uh, this right here, the required global variables. All that it has is one variable, which is the API key. Uh, that way, you know, it stays private. Um, or I guess not anymore. Uh, but uh, but yeah, so so basically that's you know you, you just need to keep that in there, and uh, and you know change it for whatever your API key is gonna be, of course, and uh, and yeah that way you can interact with it. So that's basically where you put your API uh, key. Okay, uh, we gotta create a folder which is basically gonna be where we're gonna be saving the file that we just received. And then we're gonna be, go ahead and check, you know, if, if there's a file that was uploaded or you know sent to this document, uh, then we're gonna start preparing it. We're gonna move it to the temporary folder, and then if that's true, then we're gonna start our curl uh, connection. Basically, that's how we're gonna connect with the API. Uh, we gotta prepare the headers again. That's where you put your API key, 
uh, we gotta create a curl file. Uh, curl has its own way of managing files and how they're sent. Uh, in this scenario, the target file is what we just sent from the JavaScript over to the PHP. So you just send that over directly. Uh, you, you pretty much do the curl connection. Here's the URL where it needs to be sent to. Uh, you know, we send the model type, we send the file type. Uh, and then basically we run the, uh, we execute the connection. We store the response uh, that we get. And, you know, of course we check for any errors. We close the connection and then we are gonna store that response in the session. That's why we started the server session. And then we're gonna echo the response. In this situation, we're echoing and not returning because it's via it's an asynchronous request. So they, you know, you can't return in there. So I just, uh, we echo the, the, um, the JSON and then we're gonna process the JSON. Uh, that's basically, once we sends back, is basically this section right here where, um, where, you know, we, we process, we parse the JSON and then we display the JSON as well. All right, and that's pretty much how it works. So pretty simple. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll give it another try. Testing. And there we go. All right, so if you have any questions, if you need any help, uh, feel free to reach out. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and any, again, any questions, comments, anything like that, feel free to leave them in the box below. And uh, I hope that this video worked for you. All right, have a great day.